Okay, so this is my first tutorial. This tutorial takes place in DaVinci Resolve. This is a free software. Yes, free. It is a very professional and awesome color correction and grading software. It also has an NLE built into it, um, so there's really no excuse to start using it and learn how, because it's free. So what we're going to be making is a three strip. Now what, what a three strip is, it's when Technicolor took three black and white strips of film and essentially they, uh, each of them had a different color reflected on them and then they pressed them together and dyed them and it made this really cool saturated look. So that's what we're going to try and recreate digitally. It works on lots of shots and it looks really cool on lots of shots, but lots of shots it does not look really cool on. This is what we are going to be creating, and it's a little oversaturated, so I can just bring the saturation down a little. Um, but as you can see, it is a very cool look, um, and it adds way more than just extra saturation. So let's get started. Okay, so Alt-S to create a new node. Now this, well, let's click Alt-S again to create another new node. Now on this first node, I'm going to go right here on this button change it to monochrome. Now, uh, we are going to only have the reds and then set the reds at about zero. Uh, then on the second one, we're gonna, in the same tab, we're going to put all the reds down. That's going to kind of make it a cyan-y type thing. We're going to right click, add node, parallel. Now, we are going to connect this right up, add one input, add twice, so three inputs, and then connect this to the output. Now, back here, so we're going to go add node, corrector, and then link this up. And alt S to add another corrector and then link this up. So now on this one we are going to go to monochrome and this is going to be green. So we're going to take our reds and our blues down and put our green at zero, about zero-ish. Then on this one we are going to take all the greens out of it. So it's looking pretty weird. Um, really weird. So add node, corrector, link this up, alt S to create another node, connect it to parallel, and now monochrome, Reds down, greens down, blues at zero ish. Now on this one, all the blues down. Now, whoa, this looks crazy. I bet you are thinking, like, um, what's wrong with you? Why would you be trying to create this? But now we're just gonna go to our par parallel, Alt S, and then shift the hue to 100. Now it looks normal-ish, uh, but it still looks weird. That is because it's way oversaturated. Then you're just going to adjust your saturation to how you like it. There. Now, as you can see, wow, uh, that made a big difference. Now, uh, this is a fairly long process. You're probably thinking, ah, oh, do I want to do this for every time I want to use it? Well, you don't have to. All you have to do is click Alt-1, it loads it to your gallery, then uh, drop it into your power grades, not your stills, your power grades. And then, uh, I 
I already have one in there, but then you can just rename it, you know, three strip. Uh, I'm not going to do that, though, because I already have one. So that's really easy effect, and as I was saying, once you add it to your power grade at any time, you can just click, and it adds it to there, and then it just, you can adjust your saturation. Now, in here, I, I went through and named all these so that later I can reference it and stuff. And then, if you add that, you can obviously just, you know, do some basic color correction and bam, it looks awesome. So, uh, thanks. I hope you enjoyed my first tutorial. Um, more will definitely be coming. Don't forget to subscribe or check out our awesome videos. Bye.